Doug loves this thing. Doug, you would bathe in this stuff, wouldn't you? I would. It's kind of like, I think I can't. This requires a system. <laughs> Are we going to start sampling some, uh, beer? Nah, I don't drink, man. I don't, I don't, I don't drink alcohol. I'm no, sober. No, no, no. I could drink it like seven minutes ago, man. Uh, nah, I ain't going to do it. I'm going to get one more cooter in me, and then we're going to start sampling some premium alcoholic beverages. So, TBA had a donation from... Freetail Brewery. Tonight we're going to be drinking some La Muerta Imperial Stout. Specifically, the Rum Barrel Aged. I bet they'd be good refried beef. First impressions are like at least a 40 weight. I mean, it's, it's thick. This is a man beer. Sure does come in a pretty bottle, though. These guys are too busy chugging beans. All right. Are you ready? A lot of berry in there. Kind of fruity. I mean, I've only I've only had about a dozen Miller Lights, and switching to this is called a palate shocker. Palate shocker. This is this is definition of what beer should be. I don't know. It's okay. What, what the licorice you taste. I can definitely taste the it's rum different. barrel aging. I don't know if I like it though. It's not bad. But it's this not good dark beer. It's not like knock my socks off. Mm. <clears throat> I can definitely taste the licorice. Bottle of beer costs fifteen bucks. Enjoy. It. Well, luckily they're sponsors of Texas Beer Adventures. Yeah, La Muerta. No, Freetail Brewery. Right. That's what I said. Yeah. Freetail Brewery. 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 So, what you think, B one? It's good. It's, uh, 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 edible. Uh, got a little chew to it. Got a little chew. So, final word on the La Muerta, rum barrel aged. I can definitely taste the rum, like you said. Um, this is awesome. I, I think that I prefer more of a stout myself like a coffee then a rum then a rum barrel aged and I don't know how that necessarily compares but I mean this is an absolutely exceptional beer and kudos to the breweries brewmasters who have created such a fine fine brew I, I just kind of think I've had better, but... I don't know. It's a little thin. As thick as it might look. I don't know. A little thin on flavor. Yeah, not my favorite. I'm not a... I'm not a black licorice fan. I do like... Like, um... Twizzlers. I mean, if it was Twizzler flavored, I probably would drink it a lot more. 
So Doug's done. Doug, you liked it. Brad, yeah, you still got half a beer. You say you like it, but eh. I don't hear it from you, man. Your belly doesn't tell me you like it. You're correct. <laughs> how's, how, <laughs> how's my beard look? <laughs> Where'd it go? Where, 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 where did it go?